News Extra Time on KNEB, our program brought to you by Intralinks. Here's Kevin Moon. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And uh, our guests today are John Marshall and Carol Gifford. They are this year's uh, Scotts Bluff Gearing United Way of Western Nebraska campaign co-chairs for 2014 and 15. Susan Wiedemann is also here. She's a uh, United Way board member. We're going to talk about uh, the United Way campaign and also a big fundraiser going on at uh, Panhandle Co-op later this month. And uh, a chance to kind of remember that one show where you where you on TV. Oh, I'm this is my age showing supermarket, supermarket sweep. sweep. <laughs> John Marshall, you're right. Supermarket <laughs> sweep. That's what they're gonna do over at Co-op. We'll tell you about it as we go along here. But anyway, Carol, uh, welcome. Uh, we'll let you go first. Uh, tell us about the campaign this year. Um, um, how many agencies you're serving? How much money you're trying to raise? All right. Thank you, Kevin. Um, the 2014-15 campaign is hoping to raise $370,000 to fund the 19 agencies that we support in the community. Um, many of you support those in other ways, but this is a great opportunity for you to give. We also have 15 loaned execs that go out to businesses and talk about United Way and those agencies that we support. All right. So you're raising uh, a good sum of money here, and uh, how easy is it for people to just get involved in this? Oh, it's pretty easy. You can call United Way office or see any of the board members or John or I. Everybody knows John, so you can just call him, and, <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be glad to hook you up. Yeah, all right. And uh, all you have to do is just commit maybe uh, to have a certain amount of money taken out of your paycheck every, every time uh, during the year, and it's not usually a large amount. And uh, and you can and you can get involved, right, John? Almost any type, any any uh, degree of money here. Are we Absolutely. talking about? Um, we encourage anyone to donate, if, even if it's just one dollar a month or one dollar a year. That one dollar you donate distributes among nineteen different agencies, and we feel that it, those nineteen agencies best serve our community to make it a better place to live. So. If, if anyone is interested, their organization, or just themselves, they want to know more about the United Way and the presentation, we are happy to share our information and encourage them to get involved. All right. And you can uh, just be part of the pace setter companies. They have certain companies that are pace setter companies. Uh, they get this thing started, generate about oh, maybe close to 50% of the money. Yes. And then the rest of it comes from uh, other fundraising activities, including the duck race and the golf tournament. And uh, you guys color dash and that type of stuff so uh but we want to talk about the grocery shopping spree we're going to do that right after this is your wireless computer network secure with their years of professional service you can trust intralink's technical solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running not having a secure wireless network can put your computers at risk call intralink's at 632-6590 to have one of their highly experienced techs set up troubleshoot and secure your wireless network for weekly tips and information friend intralink's on facebook at intralinks.net slash facebook <laughs> All right, we're back on News Extra. We're uh, talking with some folks with United Way of Western Nebraska today. The campaign co-chairs John Marshall and Carol Gifford and Susan Wiedemann is here, a United Way board member. And uh, Co-op is doing something special as far as a fundraiser for United Way coming up later this month. And uh, like John said, it says supermarket sweeps, basically. <laughs> similar, yes. Something similar to that. Something um, similar. Kind of tell us all okay. about it. Um, we are partnering with United Way for a grocery shopping spree raffle, and it's 240 seconds of sheer pandemonium. Okay. Okay. Four minutes, that's four what minutes, that is. Four minutes. Four um, minutes. The tickets are $5 a piece or um, five for twenty dollars and uh, the winner will get four minutes to run around uh, the scottsbluff main street market store and uh, we'll have a little flag on their cart and they can uh, get up to seven hundred and fifty dollars worth of groceries 
Okay, we are going to be picking the winner on Friday, November 14th from 5 to 7. And in fact, uh, KNEB will be doing a live remote that evening uh, to encourage people to come out and buy the tickets if they haven't bought the tickets. And we will announce the winner that night at 7 o'clock. They will have one week to plot their strategy. <laughs> Dennis is laughing over here. Plot their strategy well, he throughout the store. Supermarket sweep. He's over there. He's like me. He knows. And uh, we will be doing that shopping spree on Saturday, November 22nd at 9 a.m. in the morning. So, uh, you know, it should be kind of fun, and it's something a little bit different that we haven't done. And we only have a limit of 1,000 tickets. So, you know, the odds are not too bad. So um, we encourage people, if anybody wants to buy tickets, they can call me at um, Panhandle Co-op at our corporate office, um, the United Way office at 635-2522. Any of the United Way board members should have tickets, and the loaned exec should have tickets. So I know uh, get, it's a great way, and it's right before Thanksgiving. What a better time to do food. So can you buy tickets if you're just shopping and say, I want to go in and, you know, if I'm going in, co-op and i'm shopping in there and i say i we want to buy probably, we can probably do that tickets. they can probably do that i probably need to get some over to our customer service booth oh, that might stuff. be a good idea yeah and so um it should be it'd be a lot of fun and we thought we would do something a little bit different um also on the morning of the 22nd we'll have um agency people as well as board members and loan execs will be um bagging your groceries for you and taking it out from i think we're doing that from about eight to ten o'clock in the morning morning so you'll see a lot of the agencies there helping we did that last year and it was a lot of fun and and we'll be giving um people who are shopping the united way brochure and encouraging them to give all right don't forget john john if you're bagging here cans on the bottom bread on the top okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay just just letting you know all right all the frozen stuff in one bag and all that stuff. so Double it should bag. be a lot of fun so you know so come on out and I may be dragging a little bit. I get back from a big trip that night before, right. so. Well, you'll be, you'll make you'll be okay. <laughs> you'll be all right. If I can come in today after last <laughs> night, you could, you're you're okay. All right, okay, good deal, you guys. Sounds like a lot of fun, and it'll probably be before a big Husker game as well. You can I think do it's this. The, the, the well, the morning the the shopping spree is right before the Minnesota game. All right, there you go. So you can do that as well. All right, good deal, Carol, John, Susan. Thanks for coming in. Go get your tickets for that big shopping spree. All Thanks, right? Kevin. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin.